Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. I cannot see profile pictures, so say a little something and let me know that you are there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys received sweet sleep last night and woke up with bells and whistles on. Hey, Harvey Eva, Harvey Carolyn, Harvey Alia. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you as well. Hey, Harvey Belinda, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Wherever you are, come on and let's give God a praise. Hey, Harvey Denise and Harvey Rodney and Harvey Carolyn, good morning. Harvey Bernice, good morning. Give God a praise wherever you are. He deserves our worship. <clears throat> he deserves our praise. He deserves our adoration, our glory. Hallelujah. Hey, Harvey Constance and Harvey Doris. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Heartbeat Annette and Heartbeat Melodia. Good morning and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. Hey, Heartbeat Alicia. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is there is no condemnation. Come on, you ought to give God a praise right there that there is no condemnation. Hey, Heartbeat Lisa. So everybody can relate to when I want to do right, evil creeps in, or when I want to do right, you know, that flesh, it just takes over. Um, the flesh doesn't want to cooperate with you wanting to do right. And we can find that in Romans uh, 7, 21 through 25. The flesh wants to do what the flesh wants to do. And the flesh never, let me say it again, the flesh never thinks about the consequence. Sin will take you further than you want to go and keep you longer than you want to stay. But thank God that there is condemnation, that there is none on any of us. We all have been delivered from bondage. And so I can appreciate Paul starting Romans eight off with busting right out the gate saying that there is no condemnation. Um, I can just appreciate that. Condemnation is the lie from the enemy that you have been bad or that you are bad instead of your actions. Let me say that again. Condemnation is a lie from the enemy that you are bad instead of the actions and it makes you feel terrible. You know, it makes you feel guilty. It makes you feel like you can't go to the throne. But he, like I said, and Paul busts right out the gate saying that therefore there is now no condemnation. So often believers find themselves stagnated in conviction, right? We feel terrible about it, but not realizing that conviction is actually a wonderful gift from God. I'm going to say that again. Most of the time we stay stagnated in it. We feel bad. We think we can't go to God. We can't pray. We can't worship, but conviction is actually a wonderful gift from God. God only chastises. God only corrects and he only convicts those that he loves. And you can find that in Proverbs 3, 12 and in Hebrews 12, 6 and 7. Conviction counteracts the condemnation the enemy brings. Conviction causes me to pose the question, is my life living up to scripture? Amen. Conviction affords me the opportunity to be made whole and conviction allows me to accept the invitation of God's grace and mercy every time. Now, granted, I'm not saying or giving you a pass to sin. However, I'm telling you that there is now no condemnation. Romans 8, 1 says it like this in the King James Version, and I'm going to read it in three versions because I want to make sure you get this because I want you to understand that even though you make a mistake, even though you may fall to your flesh, God still loves you and that there is no condemnation. Then you have to get up and repent. Repent meaning change your ways, not keep doing that thing, but you've got to get control over the flesh. In the words of Heartbeat Aaliyah, you have got to crucify the flesh. She said that thing probably like maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago now, but that thing just stuck with me. Crucify the flesh. And so Romans 8, 1 says, there is therefore now, mean at the present time, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And so although you may fall, although you may make a mistake, although you may do something that is not of God, you have got to repent. And then you've got to allow yourself to get back up and walk in the spirit. Do not allow the enemy to cause condemnation to come 
come over your life. Condemnation is a lie from the enemy. I'm going to say it again. It is a lie from the enemy and we don't believe the lies of the enemy. Remember, we don't talk to strangers. We don't listen to strangers and the enemy is showing up a stranger. The Passion Translation says it like this. So now the case is closed. Glory to God. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one. Listen, um, the easy reading version says it like this. The unwelcome intruder, meaning the enemy, when he comes into your life to try to cause condemnation to rest on you, it says the case is now closed. You've been redeemed. Glory to God. The, there remains no accusing voice, no accusing voice of condemnation. And so I want you to remember that God loves you, that you have got to get up. You cannot stay in condemnation. Did you do it? Yeah, you did. Did you enjoy? You probably did. But now you've got to repent and ask for God's forgiveness, knowing that when you ask that he, you receive forgiveness as soon as you ask. And now you've got to, again, make that 180 turn and stay on the road of recovery, stay in wholeness and keep walking in the ways of God. You're chasing after the spirit, no longer chasing after the flesh. You're no longer allowing the flesh to control your life. You're no longer doing what the flesh wants to do, but you have taken authority over the flesh. You have crucified the flesh and now you're walking in the spirit. You're walking in all the things of God. There is no condemnation. The message version says it like this, with the arrival of Jesus the Messiah. That right there makes me want to just throw my hands up and praise God. With the arrival of Jesus the Messiah, the faithful dilemma is resolved. It's done. It's over because you've been delivered. It says those who enter into Christ being here for us no longer have to live under a continuous low-lying black cloud. Glory to God. A new power is in operation. The spirit of life in Christ, like a strong wind, has magnificently cleared the air, freeing you from a faded lifetime of brutal tyranny at the hands of sin and death. You ought to give God a praise right there. That down there is now no condemnation. You have been set free. There is no longer a black cloud over your life for you have been redeemed. You are walking in the ways of God. Again, remember, you have got to repent. You have got to know that you have told God you're sorry. You've asked for forgiveness and God has granted it. And now there is no condemnation. Remember, when you feel convicted, it's because God loves you. Conviction allows you to walk into grace. Conviction allows you to accept that invitation that I am free. Conviction allows you to move forward. Conviction allows you to look back and be like, what is that? You know how Paul said, I have wronged no man. Conviction allows you to do that because you are now no longer sitting under condemnation, but you're sitting under the love of Christ because he has already gone to the, the cross for you. He's already redeemed you. He's already set you free. So don't allow the enemy to hold you in a place of condemnation when you make a mistake. You might not cross every uh, T you might not dot every I, but as long as you can repent to God, let God know that you made a mistake. God is willing. God is able to take your hand and continue to walk you into the destiny that he has for you. Remember, this is not a license to sin. This is not a license to allow your flesh to take over, but it is a license to let you know that you no longer sit under condemnation. You are a child of the king of God, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He loves you. He has set you free. You've got to take the freedom and you've got to walk in it. You've got to stay in it and not allow the accusing voice of the enemy to take you down a road you have no business down. Amen. Hey, listen, that's your daily dosage for today. There is no condemnation. You want to give God a praise right where you are, that you are free, that God came into your space this morning to let you know that it's okay. I know you made a mistake, but keep moving. I know you didn't do it right, 
but keep moving. I know you may have settled and, you know, answered and allowed the flesh to take over for just a minute, but keep moving. There is no condemnation. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how I do this thing every Monday through Friday. Come on, let's say it together. That's right. You are free. Let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. That's right, heartbeat Bernies. Keep moving. I love you guys a bunch. Let's go out there, have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow morning. Praise Jesus. That's right, heartbeat Anita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our God. Glory to you, God. Hallelujah. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day. See you in the morning.